your help. What's up? So I'm trying to help one of our clients, staff, mm. and we can't find anyone that's willing to take the jobs. Like people are just not interested, but there's mm. like, so I, I just, like what, like how can I not find humans? Like we're in Miami, there's a lot of humans. Isn't that like a common thread? Don't all employers have trouble finding workers right now? They are paying the same as like everybody else. And like, it just, just, it's just not working. You know what? I do have a tool that can help you with that. Really? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Actually, not this one. It's in a data matrix. <laughs> Dude, you have got to stop doing that to me. Sorry. Welcome to the data matrix. <sighs> Hey. Feels like home, doesn't it? Sure. All right, let's pull up this big, beautiful map of Miami. And let's pretend that you are a small business owner, you know, be it a grocery store, be it a small restaurant. Where would you place yourself? Um, let's go just right in downtown Miami. All right, like so like around Brickell, right? All right, let's drop a pin there. And let's draw three circles around it, representing a 10-minute drive, a 20-minute drive, and a 30-minute drive. So let's start with a 10-minute drive first. All right, okay. now 20 minutes. Okay. And finally, let's draw the big circle off that, representing 30 minutes. Okay. And the reason why I'm stopping at 30 minutes is because I believe that the majority of commuters in South Florida are unwilling to drive to work or to find a work where they have to commute more than 30 minutes typically. I think the average oh. is like 28.9 minutes. I don't think that when we're trying to find people, we've really taken that into consideration. So let's look at that 30 minute radius and we're now going to identify the places that you as a small business owner should concentrate on hiring. So let's see the hot spots. As you can see, there are eight green dots on the map, each representing um, zip codes, that you know tend to have a per capita disposable income that's not very high. The next step would ideally to be analyzing the average commute from each of those eight green dots to where you're located. And if it's significantly above the average, let's say 50% above the average, 70% or even 100% above the average, then that would be the reason why you as a small business owner, why you have trouble hiring workers, even though you're offering the same wage that you, know, you see on Indeed. You see, for example, McDonald's or Wendy's or Aldi's or all these other you know, large chains offering $12 an hour. And let's say you also match that, you also offer $12 an hour, but no one's gonna come work for you. Why? Because the commute to your place is just so much longer. So how do we fix that? Theoretically, you would have to compensate them more. Now, if you say, well, my margin's already razor thin, I can't afford to do that. Right you'll have to compensate them in other ways. Give them a sun pass, a metro rail pass, metro bus, benefits. But if they just say, you know, $12 an hour, my way or the highway, you can say it'll affect employee morale. Yeah. It'll lead to higher turnover. Which costs them more, right? Exactly. So it'll oh. hurt their bottom line too in the long run. So basically, if they do decide to just stick to whatever they're currently doing, they can't find employees. And mm. then even if they do find employees, they'll start working and then they'll probably get fed up because they're like, I'm literally paying off my debt for my first hour of work. I'm not even actually yeah. making money. And then they'll leave and then the employer is left with all of the turnover costs. Exactly, and all the other negative effects that are hard to quantify, right? So lower customer service, lower employee morale, productivity goes down, and it just has so many negative spillover effects that you don't even see, that you don't even feel, but long-term can actually shut your business down. Yeah, yeah. So if you're the employee, hmm. and I'm making $12 an hour, and I'm spending round trip, like. $10 a day to get to work. Yeah. So basically my first hour of work. You're spending the majority of your first hour to pay off your commute debt. Well, that just doesn't seem fair. There has to be other incentives to make up for the above average commute. That's the logic behind it. Does it's a di difficult discussion that they need to have and that they're refusing to have until, you know, until now. Can you help me have that? That would be great. Franz! 
You gotta at least take me with you. Okay. <laughs>